So today we got the latest stuff from Realme, including a special, a limited edition device inside this special packaging. You can win one too, as usual. Just leave your Twitter handle down in the comments section of this video and make sure you're subscribed to the channel for your chance to win. All right, so what is all this stuff? Over here, we have the Realme GT, but today's main attraction is inside this package here. This limited edition is a new device called the Realme GT Master Edition Explorer. And then there's also this one, which is the Realme GT Master Edition. Now, these are a more affordable version of the GT, packing slightly different specs at a lower price point. So the Explorer version in here is $499, and the Master edition non-explorer that's right here this one is 399 so affordable smartphones and we're gonna find out all about them. I can't help it, I gotta get in here first since this is a much different unboxing experience. As you can see you have this travel case suitcase and the device that's in here is going to be travel and suitcase inspired. This one even has a little lock on it over here. Is it locked right now? Oh, good. Not anymore. Actually a pretty decent little suitcase. Real me branding on it. We flip it open and then you get to see your special edition signature here, Realme GT Master Edition Explorer. Voyager Gray, that's the color here. 256 storage, 12 gigs of RAM, uh, Snapdragon 870 in here. What is this other package? We can put this to the side for now. Let's actually start with this. Oh. Some cool stuff. That's a magnet. Mastery beyond speed. Real me magnet as well. Dare to leap. Oh, this is a, would you call this a camera strap? This is a high quality strap. That's pretty good. And then we have this little envelope. Oh, it's like a document holder. Envelope type thing. And here are some of those documents. Ooh, look at this. This is a cool image. Look at that. Shot in Japan. Shot in Brazil. Man, Brazil's looking pretty good right about now. I know that this device actually has a street photography mode, which will let you quickly launch into the camera app and actually remove some of the processing that goes on so you can get a, a really quick capture of a real life event. Oh, look at that. Real meow. We have the real me cat here. I think Mo's gonna like these stickers. He always liked the stickers. He's always stealing the stickers. Look at this, man. You got some cool ones to choose from over here. So now I'm a fan of gray. Just in general, just gray. Uh, I've had gray cars in the past, like a flat type of gray, gray leather. I've been a fan of different textures on smartphones whenever possible to just provide a little bit of a difference. And Realme's been working with this vegan leather for a little bit, including on this much more uh, poppy supercar, sports car-esque Realme GT. This one, a slightly different mood to it. Okay, let's see here. Some paperwork. Here is the device. In display fingerprint. Obviously you can tell right away. Curved edge, very slender feel in the hand. Ooh. Certainly a similar texture to the GT version with the yellow back. In this case, we have these ridges as well and they're calling it their first 3D vegan leather finish inspired by travel and suitcases where this is a kind of a legendary design. This is a Samsung display on here, AMOLED 120 Hertz. So you're certainly at the top end spec when it comes to that. And I can already tell we have a corner hole punch setup on this particular device. Looking around, we have our power switch on the right hand side, volume up and down over on the other side, type C speaker unit. This is gonna be your uh, SIM slot. And it's kind of cool the way they blended this. So matte finish, vegan leather for most of the body, but then you have a little bit of flare up in the camera section where you can see your triple camera setup. This has the added benefit of not attracting fingerprints. Probably gonna look a little bit better long term with this uh, vegan leather finish. You could put a case on it too, but you're probably gonna wanna touch that texture, I'm guessing. Oh, they give you a case. So, so what's nice here is it maintains the same special edition styling. It's a slightly lighter gray tone. If I had to choose between two, I kind of like the darker gray anyway. But you have a case to get you started and it's a little bit better and more stylish than the typical clear case that you would get 
inside a package like this. We also have the Super Dart Charger, 65 watt, capable of charging up the 4,500 milliamp hour battery inside this particular device. Now, since we're here, we might as well unbox the Realme GT Master Edition, non-explorer version, non-special edition for comparison. Now, when it comes to the spec on this one, Snapdragon 778G 5G processor, 120 hertz Super AMOLED display, 65 watt Super Dart charge, and super slim and light master design. This one is gonna be in Luna White, eight gigs RAM, 256 storage. So this is the budget option, at least of these two, coming in around 399. Welcome to the Realme family. So this is a more typical Realme unboxing here. Same in-display fingerprint AMOLED screen. Ooh, much different look to it though. Actually, this is one of my favorite white finishes that they put because it's a matte finish. And when you go with a lighter finish, same thing when it comes to the fingerprints, they're not really there. You see, they get hidden by that very snow-like white color there, that's pretty cool. And then on the sides here, you have the reflective metallic finish, power switch, volume, SIM on the other side. This one has a headphone jack, unlike the others. Type-C speaker, screen protector coming off now. Cool, very comparable, but the special edition feels slimmer in the hand, just a slightly more aggressive curvature to the display on that model. Ooh, we're getting a gray case. This is interesting. So they've got a real gray theme going on with the Master Edition. Slightly different tone. No three-dimensional aspect on this case here. Super Dart, still 65 watt charge on that phone and USB Type-C and a SIM tool as well. So it's an interesting theme here. They're going for a more subdued uh, look, a, a real departure from something like this Realme GT, which is very flashy, one of the flashiest phones I've ever looked at. So this gives you an alternative if you want something a little bit toned down. I'm a fan of these tones right here. Like if I had to buy a car, it, it's probably not gonna be this color. It's more likely to be this color. That's just me. So here is your GT lineup. Let me know in the comments out of this bunch which one you would go for or you find to be the most interesting. Now let's go ahead and boot these two up. Explore Master Edition, Snapdragon 875G. You have a 32 megapixel IMX615 front camera and an IMX766 rear camera at 50 megapixel. You've also got optical image stabilization here and a one over 1.56 inch image sensor. 120 hertz Samsung AMOLED curved screen with a very narrow chin and of course the 120 hertz refresh rate, which you can decide to leave on or off depending if you're more inclined towards battery versus performance, I'm likely to leave the 120 hertz on. 4,500 milliamp hour battery, 65 watt super dark charge. The vegan leather model is actually a little bit lighter than the glass version. You save a couple of grams. It's available in Voyager Gray, which is what we're looking at here, Luna White and Daybreak Blue. It's available with either eight gigs of RAM or 12 gigs of RAM, depending on which spec you select for, and up to 256 gigs of storage. And it's actually a collaboration between designer Naoto Fukasawa and Realme. So Fukasawa designed the shape of this phone into a travel suitcase and re-engraved a classic grill on the back allowing users to think of travel when they touch this limited edition phone. So I mentioned that the uh, 50 megapixel main sensor also features optical image stabilization. This is actually a first for Realme on any device. But of course, you've also got an ultra wide in there, 16 megapixels f 2.2 aperture. And the ultra wide features distortion correction for faces near the edge of the lens. Now I mentioned this street photography mode. The way this works, you're gonna be able to launch in to it with the phone turned off by double clicking the volume button. And then the mode that the camera's gonna be in is a quick capture mode. They call it DIS quick capture. 
and this is gonna let the camera detect any moving people or objects in the viewfinder and, and automatically adjust exposure time to avoid blurry photos. And gamers wanna know about the touch sampling rate. In this case, it's 480 hertz. So here's a look at the two different uh, AMOLED displays. Yes, you can tell that on the Explorer edition, you have far more curve on the side, so it, it actually shrinks those side bezels, but it also has a slimmer chin than the non-Explorer Master Edition as well. By default, screen refresh rate is set to auto select. So it's kind of like a dynamic mode, which is gonna try to balance performance and battery life. Of course, you can come in here, and I'm glad that you can, and manually select 120. You can lock it at 120. You can also lock it at the standard 60 hertz if you are trying to conserve battery if you're low on battery so that it doesn't even bounce back and forth. But for the purpose of this, I'll leave it locked in 120 hertz. And of course, that gives you tremendously smooth navigation and gaming and so forth. Selfie tests on the 32 megapixel front-facing camera. Bam. Of course, I turned off beauty modes and smoothie modes. I don't know if I've ever called them smoothie modes before, but that is a, that's a nice selfie. Holy guacamole. The beard hair test, it's all there. Everything you need, including a stray eyebrow here and there. So there you have it. It is the uh, brand new Realme Master Edition Explorer Edition. One of the more unique smartphones I've seen recently and a little bit of proof that you don't have to do exactly the same thing every single time. We got a little texture, we got these ridges, there's a signature and so on. This one coming in around $499. We've also got the Master Edition Non-Explorer. This one is the budget-minded version coming in around $399. Slightly different specs, but many shared features as well. And now they're uh, in addition to the GT lineup, which of course still houses this guy right here, the Realme GT 5G, and it's that one that I have two to give away to you guys over here. So remember once again, leave your Twitter handle down in the comments and make sure you're subscribed for your chance to win one. Good luck.